Yang terhormat Dr. Adrianus L.G. Wawaruntu, M.A. Selaku Dekan Fakultas Ilmu Budaya Universitas Indonesia. Yang terhormat Profesor Iwan Jaya Aziz, Dewan Guru Besar Fakultas Ekonomi dan Bisnis Universitas Indonesia. Ibu Dr. Hera Susanti, selaku Ketua Departemen Ilmu Ekonomi Fakultas Ekonomi dan Bisnis Universitas Indonesia. Sir Harry Darsono, PhD, beserta Bapak dan Ibu sekalian, tamu undangan maupun peserta kuliah umum yang berbahagia. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat pagi dan salam sejahtera bagi kita semua. Selamat datang di acara Public Lecture from Crazy to Creativity and Obstacles yang akan disampaikan oleh Sir Hari Darsono, PhD. Acara ini merupakan salah satu bagian dalam rangkaian Disnatalis FEBUI yang ke-67 tahun dan Disnatalis FIBUI yang ke-77 tahun. Sebagai informasi tambahan, kami perlu informasikan bahwa pada tanggal 28 Oktober 2017 pukul 8.30 akan dilakukan pembukaan Private Museum Grand Tour oleh Hari Darsono untuk kontak dapat menghubungi informasi yang terdapat di depan baiklah sebelum kita memulai acara ini marilah kita bersama menyanyikan lagu Indonesia Raya kepada para hadirin kami mohon berdiri Hadirin dimohon duduk kembali. Akan disampaikan oleh Dekan Fakultas Ilmu Budaya Universitas Indonesia kepada Dr. Adrianus kami persilahkan. Terima kasih. Sebelumnya saya minta maaf karena saya tadinya mendapat informasi bahwa kuliah ini akan dibawakan dalam bahasa Inggris. Jadi saya mempersiapkan welcome speech-nya dalam bahasa Inggris. The Honorable, we are waiting actually Prof. Emil Salim, who is expecting to come today. Uh, Professor N. Booth from SOAS. Ibu Vita, I think, should come here today, but... I haven't seen her. Uh, Ibu Hera, selaku Ketua Departemen, and professors and lecturers from FAB and FIBUI, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and also students of Faculty of Humanities and Faculty of Economic and Business. Good morning and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. 
It is my pleasure to welcome you all to this Art Centrum building of Universitas Indonesia to listen to a special lecture by Sir Harida Sasono, PhD, and moderated by Professor Iwan Jaya Aziz. It is a rare opportunity for us here to have two distinguished, creative, and very important persons in their professions in one stage. This special lecture is delivered in commemoration of FEB and FEB's Dies Natalis to demonstrate the strong bond and relevant connectivity between our faculties and also our academic substances on culture and economics. Unfortunately, due to his other prior engagement, Dean of FABUE, Professor Ari Puncoro, the co-host of this morning lecture, is not present with us today. The theme of the lecture is From Crazy to Creativity, a mapping and stepping with obstacles to be creative, with strong emphasis on and focus on creativity. With quite a long subtitle, Creativity is a concept for understanding and promoting arts, economic development and social inclusion, harmony, rhythm, consist consistency, structures, rules, and empathy are among their joint features also akin to musical creativity. Frankly, when asked, when asked to give a welcome speech for this lecture, I was a bit intimidated. First, because I have to give a speech to a very important lecture given by such celebrities like Sir Harry Darsono, PhD, and Professor Ivan J. Aziz. <laughs> and second, because I was very excited, but still having trouble how to digest the content of the lecture. Fortunately, yesterday afternoon, Professor Ivan J. Aziz came to the rescue and emailed me his proposed speech, as I'm going to read it now, without adding or changing even a word. <laughs> Being one of the aspects of culture, some degree of spontaneity is required in arts in order to bring something into existence. Forcing such spontaneity into various forms are essential. Yet, limitations, this is underscored, be it personal, organization, or institutional, abound. It is this tension between spontaneity and limitations that bring, to brings about creativity. Although we know there are various obstacles that may limit our capacity to be creative, we at the FEBUE who put our focus on areas such as linguistics, literature, history, archaeology, philosophy, and library also highlight the significance of creativity in our work. <clears throat> it is our pleasure to co-organize today's event with FBUE that will focus on and discuss about the importance of creativity. I understand the role of culture, hence uh, creativity, in economics is also critical, yet received insufficient attention. I hope the collaboration between FBUE and FABUE in the past and in the future, including today's event, will strengthen our attempt to understand better the close link between our two disciplines and the role of creativity can play. But we must constantly endeavor if we are to succeed with this attempt, and this is where I see the relevance of today's event. I would like to thank Dr. Hari Darsono for his kind willingness to share his thought about such an important subject. And I hope from crazy to creativity and obstacles will help contribute to our understanding about the role of creativity in culture, arts, and economics. Thank you, Prof. Ivan J. Aziz. <laughs> and 
to conclude the speech, I would like to thank all of you for coming today and please enjoy the lecture. Thank you. Terima kasih kepada Dr. Adrianus atas sambutannya. Untuk selanjutnya, kita memasuki acara utama yaitu Public Lecture From Crazy to Creativity and Obstacles. Acara ini akan dimoderatori oleh Profesor Iwan Jaya Aziz PhD. Kepada Profesor Iwan, kami persilahkan. I think without further ado, Hari, if you can step up to the States. Okay. Okay, good morning, friends, colleagues, and Civitas uh, Academy, Universitas Indonesia. Uh, I think what the Dean of the FEB just mentioned make it very clear uh, what is the session today, the events today is all about. And it is great honor for us to have the speaker for today, who is an old friend of mine, Hari Darsono. And I think I don't need to explain who Hari Darsono is. First of all, most of you know about him, but another thing is, this is more important, you can read behind me, so rather than sort of introducing him. Uh, let me just give a little bit background why we have today's event. I think that is more sort of uh, uh, things that you want to know, why all of a sudden we have this event. It goes without saying that we are entering a very, very different century. 21st century is definitely different than the 20th century. And unfortunately, there are still many things that we continue doing the same thing, using the same style, the same way of thinking, the same tools and so forth. That itself, to me, is a crazy. When you have a completely different environment, a changing environment, and you are still doing the same thing, using the same technique, to me, that's crazy. Okay? So, that's the reasons why we put the title from crazy to creativity. Now, of course, we want to understand what is then the creativity? So to overcome that craziness, what is the creativity? And no other person that I know of, well, I met a couple of geniuses during my life, but he's definitely one of them. So no other person who is more appropriate to talk about creativity than Hari Darsono. And I can assure you, unlike most of the talk or seminars that you attended. Today, you are not only hearing the theory or the concept of creativity, but you are hearing and talking with the person who is doing it. He himself is a creative person. It's a super creative. It's very difficult for me to label him, actually. Who is Hari Darsono? He is a famous designer, he is a multi-talented musician, he is an artist, he is a sculptor, and he is also educator, he is an academic professor. So it's very hard for me to label, that's why I don't want to label him anything. And it's better if uh, I suggested him, why don't you put your sort of short credential here behind me? And that helps me so that I don't need to explain to you who is Hari Darsono. The second uh, unusual thing for today's event, I hope and I'm pretty sure is going to happen, he is not going just to talk or to listen and then to interact with you. He is going to demonstrate what he is talking about by playing piano. I think all of you knows that when we talk about creativity, musical creativity is one of the most important parts of the creativity itself. And as I said earlier, he is a multi-talented musician. By the way, piano is not the only instrument that he's playing. He plays four or five musical instruments. But today, he is going to demonstrate the creativity concept by playing the piano. Now, 
I want to correct what the Dean FEB mentioned earlier, that today you will hear two speakers. No, you're not going to hear two speakers. You're only going to hear one speaker. I'm only moderator, and my friend suggested me that moderator comes from the word moderat, and moderat comes from the word modal dengkul dan urat. That means, that means I, cannot, I cannot put all my ideas or even my thinking. So, ladies and gentlemen, friends, colleagues, without further ado, Hari Darsono. If you don't mind, I sit there so that I can also watch and listen to you. There are, first of all, there are two backgrounds that uh, no one mentioned about this. Number one is, you know, we've been friends. I'm three years older than him. Yeah, I was born in 1950 in Surabaya, but uh, you see, we haven't met for 56 years. So I left this country in 1959, almost 50, uh, 1960. And I knew that he used to play Casti, sort of softball. And I was really admire him because he's very, very catchy person. And uh, he's, uh, he's the number one, anyway. And every time I just you know, came, uh, came out uh, from the school, I don't want to, to ride my, my, uh, my father's car going to fetch me. I would rather to be fetched up by his mother's car because I want to play piano and to have nice lunch, some more dagging, some tempe, and that was really, really enchanting. Anyway, that is the number one uh, background. I met him just two months ago, very recent, when I just came out from my church in Kuningan City, you know, we ran small things, and when I just strolling then, and then someone is just uh, call me, Hariya. I said, yes. With ear to ear smell is typical of Professor Ivan. Yeah, senyumnya from ear to ear. Yeah, gak pernah kurang. That's him, Harry Potter, really. And I said, hey. And then he said, yes, you are. And he said, Ivan. He doesn't know that there are so many Harry, Ivan, Tuti, Bambang. <laughs> One RT consists of 600 acres, Iwan and Hari. So, which Iwan? I said, which Iwan? Excuse me, Iwan asked. I was screaming because I met all my long lost friends decades ago, but this living heavenly creature never met in physics. So, finally, I was, oh, oh I came here with my wife. Okay, let me introduce myself with your wife. And then I said, okay, I nail his shoes and we talked for three hours. Anyway, that is the number one background. And anyway, it's just a number one, uh, I mean, the second one, the background of myself, actually. This is that hasn't been mentioned. I was not supposed to live because I was aborted. The Gugurgan from my mother's womb because he was, she was seriously ill by a professor, a British uh, professor, uh, you know, lots of Pakistani, uh, Afghan, and Indians, you know, descendants in, um, in the, uh, Great Britain, and he's number one. And finally, they did abort me, but look at me, I'm 67, I'm just in front of you. It's not easy to live, because I was born in the month of seven, and I was mute. I mean, I was so stuttered, and I, I I couldn't focus my eyes on the blackboard. So my parents sent me to the local Chinese school. Do you know the Chinese school are very, very militant? Every day. I don't want this. And this is wrong, actually. That kind of high discipline school is not for hyperactivity disorder person like monster like me. I am totally little monster, but no one could predict because I have a very good, you know, very naive and immaculata. <laughs> the face with sin, sinless, spotlessly clean, immaculate. Uh, so I was, of course, number one is chalk thrown to my, uh, to my desk. Number two, chalk. Number three, chalk. Number four, razor, penghapus. And the fifth one, I was thrown from the class. <laughs> Bravo. My parents were crying, and uh, 
I had to wait, and finally, you know what? My parents decided to, to put me in a very religious school. Do you know the school that, pray, uh, that every Saturday didn't want to, to do anything? It's an Adventist. Adventist. Yeah. Sabato. It's a Saturday that they are not supposed to, to work. You know the way they pray? So long. <laughs> we have a guest from, from the Jakarta Post. Julia, uh, uh, Julia uh, Kus uh, Surya Kusuma, here, they just enter. And, uh, you know, they play so long that I couldn't even wait. And then I was crawling, crawling, because everyone was closing their eyes. So I was crawling, crawling, right just underneath my teachers, uh, underneath my teachers, uh, I mean, a lady, Euphro, you see, in Dutch here. Euphro is, you know, the first language that I used to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to speak is Dutch, 1950, Jadul Banget. And then I was there, there, and I just pulled off her underwear. <laughs> and that's number one. And then second teacher, number two. Number three, and the fourth one, I had to be expelled. And they put me, my parents put me in the school of, you know, uh, the Catholic school, which is very highly disciplined too. It is wrong, my dear friends. Oh, we have Professor um, Emil Salim, our senior. Welcome. Yeah. Just allow me to shake your hand. And then, so this is actually the background of my uh, lecture that you have to face that was totally paralyzed. And number three, in the Catholic school, I always admit myself as a birthday boy every day. So every different class, that was really convinced that it was my birthday. So I had big hug, kiss, and presents. And my sister decided to complain to our parents. Our little brother and my little monster really embarrasses me. So finally, somehow I can't remember what I did. I always think that I, I was right. I never thought that I was wrong. And then I have to move next door in the, the dormitory, the dormitory for the aggressive boys. It's called Don Bosco. <laughs> yeah, that's a very, very hard. I, I don't want to tell you what happened with the young priest, with the young brother. If you close your eyes, you think of nasty thing, that was me. <laughs> and then I decided to, and then they had to, to, to expel me and I stayed at home. Excuse me, this is the hardest way. At that moment, my neurotransmitter worked very fast indeed. On the contrary, the autism children, if they touch fire, the message will be sent to the brain, it's about 24 hours. It can be two times 24 hours. And the brain will give instruction to speak up another two times 24 hours. So no one at home, I mean not me, the autistic children, no one knew that these autistic children actually they suffer from days before. And they always think that, oh, they have their own world, imagine it, completely wrong, my dear. On the contrary, Harry Dasono is a very uh, attention deficit because I couldn't look at the blackboard until I was expelled from four different schools. This is only three schools, right? The fourth one, remember this. I totally become mute because for hyperactivity disorder person, the senses, or maybe my, my skin, when I touch the fire, less than one second, it's already sent to the brain. And at the same time, at the same time, the brain will give instruction to speak up. Can you imagine how many seconds that I could reach, you know, I could get all the visual things, the audible things, the touches, the taste, it's all there and it's all blocked here so I couldn't speak anything. So I used to beat my head with bottles. 1950s, bottle with mirror glass very heavy, so my servant, my brothers and sisters always hold my hands. It happened every day many times. And finally, I couldn't speak at all for 23 years. 
and they sent me to the school for the deaf and mute in Jalan Bengawan, number 29. Still there. Now it's under the umbrella of Harry Dasono Foundation. I established this foundation in 1979, when I was 29. <clears throat> anyway, in short, I had to follow my, my uncle, Pak Desaya. He was a professor in psychiatry. He's the director of University of Erlanga. Yeah. And then he had to complete his study to finish his PhD by research in Sorbonne. So I had to be with him as a, his living laboratory. And he put me in the dormitory. Only four nights, the dormitory has to expel me. You know why? Every night, I sleep only a little. Until now, I sleep only two and a half hours a night. Until now, because I got lots of uh, uh, alkaline. Do you know alkaline? If you have two different batteries, one is the normal one, the other one is alkaline. Alkaline can work a lot. And your mobile, your Android, your smartphone, is used the technology of the human. You just recharge for, a, uh, for an hour or two, and you can work for a day or two, probably. It depends the quality of your device. Anyway, so there was, I couldn't sleep properly. So I just woke up, and my father <laughs> gave me a small miniature of piano, and Gamelan, do you know the sound? Ting, 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 so no one can sleep. So the fourth day, they just put me out, and my father decided to rent a house, until now the house is still there, outskirts out, 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 out of Paris, in Robinson. The house is quite remote, and one to another is quite distant. Not far from Paris, actually it's still in Paris, but outskirts, au banlieue, in French, we call that. I was there with six uh, uh, therapists, to psychiatrists and to psychologists. They gave me lots of therapies, many. Not nothing, not even one therapy worked well. <laughs> even the music. And my mother, my father, my, my brother, my elder brother, who's been working as a professor in uh, music in uh, Royal Music Academy in, uh, in London, in Covent Garden, and uh, he taught me lots of music. I couldn't even, you know, stop always moving about moving around all the time, until now. Then, I had to be mute until I end my, continue my study in Art and Design College, where Kenzo, Jojo Amani, studying there, all the leading designers, I was there too, and my father said, don't take one major, take three at least. I took four. I had to channelize my hyper. That's why he said lots of talents, but let me just express my disagree or beg to differ, Professor Ivanasis, that I do not believe in talents. I believe in strong will, hard working slash smart working, because you have now with your gadget. Well, Kartini, Radhanajan Kartini used to play only, the, only with her pen, but he could really get the fun from the very economical, very tight, or maybe stingy kind of people in Europe is from Netherlands, and he could raise the fund to build this, you know, to send Agus Salim from Riau, the poor guy, and also the Sukarno, to continue their study, and finally, 28th of October, they are hand in hand in this war. One nation, one language, etc. And 17 years after that, we have republics. This is our home. But then, at that moment, I was really totally by myself. My communications is only my, uh, my sign languages, only two sign languages. This is M, M, uh, M, R, G, but very fast. But of course, I would rather be uh, communicating with, uh, with my drawing. You will see my drawing. Millions of drawings, because I want to talk a lot, but I could not. So the drawings are my instruments, my visual communication, skill and styles, many. Now, go straight away after I continue my study, sculpture works and everything, and my father said, I want one of the eight children, we are eight actually, 
boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. Just like puppies, like cats, you see. <laughs> like piglets. <laughs> baby, baby, it's you. Mm -mm. Yeah, it has to be one of those, you has to be like your Pak D. Professor uh, Suyunus, Radian Mas Suyunus. Yeah, like a teacher, okay. Then I rose my hand. Me. But everyone was laughing because I was not, I was mute. Anyway, so I had to continue. I had to finish my first doctorate degree in art and design. You know what? I had to sit down and I had to express, I had to clarify scientifically art and design by sign language and drawing. Because art speak itself. Music speak itself. It doesn't have to be explained, right? Even your facial expression speak itself for the deaf and mute because we have the special curriculum how to read the facial expression. We can't hear you, all right? Okay, so after that, I was quite, you know, wondering. I was working in seven different fashion houses every year. Work as an internship, no payment. But then at that moment, 1960, everything has to get measured. No ready to wear, like tailor here in Jakarta. So everyone who came, the, the super rich, the wife or the mafioso from Italy, they came and everything, the celebrity, the rich and the famous. I got not the, the, the name and I just wrote down the name and I make embroidery here inside the, the, uh, the pockets or the other, I mean the, the, the lining of the skirt, and no one knew. I didn't even think that one day, 47 years after I did that, I could trace the dresses back. <laughs> I follow my destiny. Then, in short, I continue my study in Oxford. I took philosophy and also psychology, especially in this. And I try to compose, to convince the government of this republic to use my curriculum. I believe that everyone is unique, everyone is different. Even your eyebrow left and right is different, your fingerprint. My twin grandsons is different, they are 15. I got married very young. Yeah, my wife is from Shanghai. We met in Switzerland, uh, but my, my daughter is a psychiatrist. She's 42 now in Switzerland, in Montreux. Anyway, so I continue my study, but I have to raise fun. I have to make money. So Bang Ali Sadikin, the former governor of Jakarta with Madame Ibu Nani, the dentist, Buya Hamka, Nani Amin, Chichi Sailan, the football of Colonel Sainal, Captain Sainal for PSSI, you know, they were introducing me as an haute couture, the first one, Prancha Adi Busana, because, you know, haute couture in French is very, very hard to, to, uh, yes, to pronounce, so, I just got this, this term from the Sanskrit Adi Busana, but actually Kutur is not Busana. Anyway, here we are. So that is the background. Can you imagine the difficulty that I had to commit suicide four times? If you come and join the museum tour, I have several museum tours. One museum takes you about three and a half hours. And uh, now, this is me. I've been working as a lecturer in 14 universities in Seoul, Daegu, Anshan City, Chenchen, also in Beijing, Shanghai, just like Professor Yuan. And they always ask me to talk about this. I give them 80, tit um, 80 uh, you know, themes or titles. They keep <laughs> choosing this title. So actually, you know what? What happened now? In China, in Korea, in Japan, there are so many young people committed suicide because they use only one set of your brain. And now I'm talking to you in front of you know the uh, the, the future economist. You are you are using only one side. Sometimes you know that music is magic but you don't have time to listen to music. Even your earphone, the plug, you use the lecture or everything. And your brain now getting crazy of mathematics and economy. And that's what I heard from Professor Ivan Jayasis. 
And this is nothing new about me. Not, nothing new about this. Now, you forgot that every man, I mean my dissertation actually, it's just about the globe. People just, you know, divided by two. Those who've been brought up, raised in the north part of the globe, the final decision always came out from mindset. On the contrary, those who've been brought up in the uh, south part of the globe, they, be, uh, they, they be decided by the mood set. Mind and mood cannot work together. If you start to calculate, you lose your mood to play with your cats, with your children, with your siblings, with your friends, even you don't feel hungry. Because you are using your mind. That, that, that. Mood is already awakened. But if you use your, your mood, you fall in love, you don't calculate. You fall in love with your hobby, for example, a camera, whatever. Or you spend lots of money. You bail in. And you don't calculate because you are driven by your mood. And between these two M's, there's another M. Mouth that you can differentiate, which is which. I'm Indonesian, but I've been brought up many years, like Professor Iwan, more than four decades in the North. So this is more, this is more decisive, very determined. But my Korean friends, my Japanese friends, who converted to become Brazilian, uh, Indonesian, Venezuelan, the casing, the body are from the north. They look Japanese. But when we deal business with them, they are not my person, mood. And that's my dissertation. One day, if you invite me, I would like to clarify this. But then we go straight away now to the creativity. Let me just play this piano. And you just close your eyes, or you can see my fingers, and you listen. Which one actually is strongly working within? Is it your mind or your mood? Let me see. thinking? Were you thinking or you are enjoying the music? Tell me, who was thinking more than feeling of the, 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 the essence of the music? Who did use the, your thoughts? Professor Abin Salim. Right. You know why? Because he has got already got 
flying ants. Jam terbang sudah banyak to differentiate he was not willing to get trapped by the mood. And that's him. But you are not, but you were all trapped. So economies can be easily maneuvered by the politician in this country. Very easy. I'm going to give you the mapping, please. And of course the stepping, not only the mapping, but I'm not going to put the spoon to your mouth one by one. You have to think it over. As soon as you leave this auditorium, you open, you get the uh, soft copy or hard copy from, from uh, uh, the moderator, then you can just, you know, start it out. Can I have the first uh, uh, slide, please? Yes, thank you. Let me just drink. Uh, uh, may I have the idea, the title, please, from the number one? Yeah. Listen. Anyway, let's stand up here. You can see. Lifelong learning process. For me, life in such an endless journey of learning and testing, like sandwich, never be apart one to another. It's always one set. Ujian dan pelajaran menjadi satu, tidak digilir sekaligus. You have your grandchildren, you have your lover, you have your son-in-law, your daughter got married, you have lots of fun. It's all actually learning and testing. Till the end of your breath. Next, please. This is the first one. Now. This is again for the economist, for the future economist. From the faculty of Ilmu Budaya, it's easy to digest, but not for those who always occupied their uh, uh, left brain. Remember this. If you are chosen in the Ministry of Cabinet, or maybe the CEO of the leading company, or the smaller, or whatever, this is actually the rule of the game, but I would prefer to talk about number this. The creativity. Next. Lots of students in the high school, in the college, in Seoul, Tokyo, Osaka, Kobe, Beijing, they commit suicide. I want, I want to tell you, because the government pushed their children like a robot. Work, 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 work. You know, your Samsung changes every year, just like fashion. Like a fashion week, every year is changing, not like haute couture, one for all, for the rest of your life, except you have to change your coffin. <laughs> this is one. Uh, I'm not going to, you need this at home, right? Okay, or just by the lakeside. Number, number two, yes. Why do you need creativity? Because the creativity better needed by the government, by the nations, by your company, your future company, even your future family, your current family, you need this. Look, number one is the quality. It's the creativity you have to create. China has already chosen two different, you know, kind of quality with a uh, discrimination of prices. Number two, rapidity, accuracy, comfortability, availability. This is for KKK, for creativity. Next, please. Yeah. Look, I said crazy. Doing the same thing in the same way with the same thinking style, listen. Thinking style is not your, it's not your God, mind you. Drop it. You have to give empathy. That's the Professor Ivan Jaya says yesterday just said, number one is the key is empathy. Indeed. And this is a thing he said, on the different era, different challenge, yet expects improvement and a great success is totally crazy. That means every day is a new you, is a new me, Harry Dasano yesterday is already gone. 
And I'm not going to live my yesterday back as a zombie. It's already history or my story. <laughs> but today, it's a new me, new you. And yesterday and tomorrow will be new us. And this is the nation. Now, please. Next. So, the future of the nation is no longer in the hands of young generation. I don't give a damn with, with, whether you are young or old. I'm young. I'm a boy with 67 years of experience. And I'm going to compete. I'm going to copy the Professor Emil Salim. <laughs> Say this to the mirror when you are looking of yourself. No matter you are orang Indonesia or orang Inggris or orang Utan. <laughs> this is a, the young generation by much, but listen, but very much determined by bloody creativity. <laughs> Only this, my goodness. If you don't create, listen. This nation, you, you've been creating lots of, you know, things like creating new curriculum, creating fashion, creating products, creating, but you can't, you forgot how to create markets. So drop it. Don't create anything. Let other people create things. You do the salesmanship. I want us from now. From this very moment, we have to encourage our salesmanship. We need this badly. Look at the Pakistani. The, the economic growth so fast because they know who's going to create products, who's going to create this, who's going to create that, and who's going to create markets. Like the Turkish, like the Spanish. They survive. What about us? Do it now or never. Next. Now, the willingness. Let me see. I don't come on. I don't feel this. Learn. Listen to me. Would you please look at me? So many generations in this nation always learn. Seek the books for the successful story. Drop it. Their success is not ours. Learn from mistake, darling. The mistake of your brother-in-law, or maybe your, your, your parents, and maybe your presidents, or maybe the Caesar, the Tsar Nicholas I from Russia, or maybe any dynasty, emperor from China, or maybe the fall of Majapahit, the fall of Roman Empire. So many, that's the content of knowledge science for humanity. Don't get desolate. Jangan silau with a successful story. Because at the end, the book will say, vote me. <laughs> <laughs> so this, learn from mistake. And number two, change. If you don't change your perception, you don't give empathy to others. You are very poor creation. Because you can only see this piano only from this angle. What about the other angle that these two gentlemen can really see different angles. Or maybe those the lighting people from the, we can see from the back of the horse, or maybe the belly of the horse, or maybe the tail, whatever, or the, the nose is getting distortion. You have to mobile. And you have to study, you have to learn what other people's perception will tell. And that's number two. Number three, reform. I have already heard that this nation has already entered the, the era of reformation. Listen. I have already heard that this nation has already entered a decades ago at the era of reformation. But what is the reformation? What is the reform? Still the same, only few changes. And last but not least, create. If you don't create friendship like Cartini did writing the notes, I mean the, the letter, and can really get the fund, lots of funding, the funding, the money, to support his, you know, her dream, to make it happen, because that's create friendship and create market. No matter who you are, are you a general in army, or you are a housewife, or you are a priest, you know, even the priest, they have to know how to convey, how to sell the holy verses. Not to sell by money, but how to convey, how how to how to convey, how to convey the message. 
that's the murder. Only these four, only one choice, or die. Thank you. Next. I don't want to read this, but at least you can really see. Those only with high IQ are creative. No, it's totally wrong. Creative comes from not IQ, not EQ, not SQ, but a part of the SQ, SQ is like a bar of a sack, and the ingredients, we call that adversity quotient. Adversity. Quotient. Kecerdasan di dalam keterpurukan. Let me just, you know, convey this in Bahasa. Adversity. If you don't have adversity, believe me. So this is actually the life. Remember when you were just born? Number one is, you have to be slapped, then you cry. That's already life. If you don't cry, no living sign. Okay? So uh, this is it now. Uh, this is in Bahasa. Well, umur 40. It's not creative. I don't believe it. Just look at the, the founder of KFC, or Teboto, or Sampurna, or maybe, I don't know, uh, J.K. Rowling. They were not young. So creativity is never expired. Next. Okay, I make it fast. This is the one that I just you know, show you. The bigger your mind, the weaker your mood, or the other way around, vice versa. So you can really tell which is which by another M between, between M and M. So remember, one day I would like to to, to, uh, to convey this, uh, my PhD by a research on the globe that you know, people who's been brought up in the north of the globe determined by this. Next. <clears throat> Mine is just need or not. Mood is just like and dislike. We Indonesian, we know, we calculate already. You are going to graduate from this prestigious college, Universitas Indonesia, and finally you decide everything by your mood. And that's not professional. That's a hobbyist. Next. Next. This, of course, it doesn't work in any other field, except in fashion. <laughs> fashion is just only the packaging, not the content. Thank you. Next. Now, this is how the politicians, the political party, will encourage you to drag you, to maneuver you in their way. As a psychologist, for 47 years, I have to do this, the mapping. Sometimes, not smile, but the other way around. Like our friend, Pak Rizik, to make you not smile, to make you angry. And that's also, there are not only two ways, more than 47 ways how to create problem. Like this music, only seven notation, seven notes, and also the in between. But this will create trillion, trillion songs. So actually, I can maneuver people how to be angry, how to be laughing and caring. It depends on me, but my intention. If I can do that, why not the 24 hours professional politician? They do it by all means. So be ready now to follow this next. Please. Silakan. Yeah. I'm not going to, to, to talk about this. You can just read. Next one, please. Yeah. If you have the creativity, you create something. For example, when I was mute for 23 years, that I want to do something, but I could not. So I decided to, to commit suicide. Mobunudiri, four times. But actually, this is the mapping. But actually, 
the blockage, the obstacle of your creativity is no longer from outsider. It's all internal. Let me just carry on. Yes, the individual, number one is perceptual blocks. That's why we have the word of Mushawara. M for Mushawara. If you cannot achieve the, the, uh, the uh, Mufakat, then another M. Momento or Maklum, nanti dulu. Yeah, yeah, because you cannot push your luck. Wait and patient, but you should have another strategy. But each strategy consists of many tactics. Tactics, can I just you know, translate what tactics means? Tactics means trap and tricks. If you talk to your children, you talk to your girlfriend, your fiance, you use this tactic. It works. And it gives you nervous, but it's okay. There is achievement. I'm going to live with her. Right? And that's two. Cultural blocks. Listen. What is it, the cultural blocks? It never happened in East Java. It never happened in North Sumatra. It never happened in Manado. It never happened in East Indonesia. Because we, from the East, we never have this. What you say, uh, what you think, you just spit it out. For example, what do? Sorry, yeah. It sounds very vulgar, but this is an expression. Can you imagine? So the way, of course, in Batawi, in, in, the, in the Batawian, we said, Gila lu, lu sukses, gila bayangin. But that's not meant to be gila. It's an expression of admiration. Okay, so this is actually what I call this actually from the era of Odebaru when I was in France for many years. Then I continued my study in England. And one day, my parents said, children, let's have a family gathering. Our younger sister was in Switzerland, so we have a New Year's Eve there. And then she was sitting on the mattress, the kasur, and he said, guys, anyone who read, to want to start business in Indonesia, our beloved country, you have to speak Javanese. And we always protest. No. You taught us to be Indonesian based on the 28th of October. Satu Bahasa, one language. But we had to. You had to give a damn. No. I don't want to work in Indonesia. This is really your betrayal. We have already sworn in front of God and others. How could you say this? How inconsistent you are. Oh, but listen, if you come back. And it is true. Even the Bataks call their friends, Pangil Ma. The Manado call Mas. Darling, 28 October is already removed. It's a fixed price, one language. Of course you have to revitalize your Bahasa, that, I mean the dialects, you have to. But for formal, it's different. Two months ago, still happened in the hair salon. A young lady, he said, Ma, please dry my hair. And this, the, hair, the, the hairdresser said, sorry, don't address me, don't call me Ma. I am from Ambon, just call me Nona. You know what? I gave them 200,000. Keep saying that. Finito. If you are in, uh, if I've been, you know, I've been surrounded by the Batavian in Kemang, in Chipate, Chilanda. It's a war on Batawi. You know, the ladies from Pangajian, they said, Hello, Kong, Slava Siang. I'm so proud to be dressed as Kong. In the morning, I can be King Kong. But, <laughs> <laughs> but Kong is actually yes, admiration. You're a senior. Kong means grand. It's a grandfather. <laughs> I'm so proud I have my twin grandsons, and this is my pride. Anyway, so everyone, even Pak Jarod, Pak the imprison, Ahok, whatever, even the film, if you just call, you know, address me as Kong Ai. Kong Ai, never must. So it was the first time that they had So I don't want to be addressed as must because I left. 
Surabaya 1959, thank you. <laughs> so this is it. The, the cultural box is on the Lalu. Then it came up a tactic of Ivo Pakivo. And that's one of the strategy to face the competitors, to make you unease, then I can go on. Many ways. I can give you the mapping. Number three, emotional block. Of course, because we are from the South. We've been brought up in the South. But now, I wish lots of Korean work with you. They can be very Indonesian and we can be very Korean. Ta ta ta, pali 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 pali. Pali pali means fast, 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 fast. Sampai stress. <laughs> Intellectual blocks. Easy. You come to this college, you just communicate with Professor Ivan Aziz. You will fulfill your intel. Anyway. But expressive block is very hard. That's what I did, what I had for many years, because I couldn't talk. Next, please. Yes, before we, uh, uh, before we uh, look at this, the lack of support of resources and regional policy, I want you to listen to this, uh, to, to see this video. I don't know who sent this video. It's about the show of the cake Andy. Only one minute and 50 seconds. Be patient and listen, please. Let me just read. Yang dicatat oleh rekor Muri. Yeah. Emang waktu lulus sarjana umur berapa, Ibu? Saya mulai kuliah umur 65 tahun. <laughs> Baru mulai kuliah? Iya. Iya, saya umur... pensiun itu, Bu. <laughs> lulus umur 69 tahun. Lulus S1? S1. Baik. Menarik karena kemudian mencatat rekor lagi. Ketika ibu melanjutkan sekolah atau kuliah lagi, ambil S2. Saya langsung kuliah di umur tuh 69 tahun, lulus umur 73 tahun, S2. Rekor yang terakhir, itu rekor untuk apa? Uh, saya lanjutkan kuliah untuk S3. Jadi ibu lulus S3 umur berapa? Umur 77 tahun. S1 lulus 69 tahun, S2 lulus 73 tahun, dan S3 lulus 77 tahun. Thank you. Now you listen. Among us, she lives in Medan. Not exactly in Medan. Outskirts of Medan. And he, she has... A uh, uh, she has a uh, uh, her husband and also their children, children-in-law and grandchildren. Do you know what? Actually, I cut off this video because this is a little bit too long. There's a one question from, Andy, from, from Andy said, did you tell anyone at home that you are going to continue study? And she answered, no. But she didn't lie. She said, I'm going to, please drop me somewhere there, I'm going to study. I'm going to, you know, to have a you know, nice friend and we learn from the church, whatever. He, she's not lying, but she was studying. But no one thought that she's going to continue her study until the degree. No. Can you imagine? Do you still remember every year that we celebrate Idul Adha? What is it, the Idul Adha? Remember the Ibrahim, when he heard that, Bring your child on the top of the mountain. Did Ibrahim or Abram tell his wife, no? You know why? Back to this. You won't get any support. The prophet, Ibrahim, Abram, wouldn't have got the support from his wife. Can you imagine his wife? You are going to bring our child to be slaughtered? After all, we've been waiting for many, many, many decades. Now God gave us child, and then you're going to be slaughtered. It's going to be too long debate. <laughs> Just like this lady, Brankhart. That's it. This is it. So now we are going to, to see lots of obstacles. You're going to read. 
And also there are some, actually there are some more, please, uh, some more, uh, just one more slide. Indeed, yeah, truth. Carry on. Now. Oh, yes, after this. Okay. Now, I'm not going to read this, but usually, uh, in English, please, Alvin. Yes. This is it. You can read just a bit and give me questions. Now, the last one. It's a mental block. Thank you. Yes. Again, wrong perception. I always hear in Indonesia, always said, I thought you were busy. I thought you were, selalu I thought you were assuming. Why don't you just, I ask you if you are busy or not. Then I can call you. I thought you are dead. <laughs> because a lot of hoax, banyak hoax. Siapa? Kwek Kian Ki. Kataya passed away. And we believe, why don't you just ask? We remember, A for ask, yeah? So this is it actually. Assuming only one correct answer is a mental block. And then the last one is a very often here, ambiguity. You don't feel ease, you don't feel comfortable with ambiguity. For example, let me just talk. Oh, she's beautiful. She's rich, but she's very crabby. In diplomatic, in diplomacy, if you're a diplomat, but B O B U T never be used. Very rare, seldom. She's rich, she's beautiful, and she's very evil. <laughs> but even it's a one package of one person. Alright? Okay. Now let's carry on. I want to do now the mapping for the King King style. This is the determinant factors. Intelligence, knowledge, thinking style. Number three, sorry, is a typo. It's thinking style with S. After thinking style, then thinking skills. Can you imagine? Who have more skills in thinking? Those who cannot speak, the mute. Really? Now, the fourth one, personality, you can have motivation, environment. Be careful with environments. Environment does matter. Yeah. You know, the something that's threatening you actually is opportunity. It depends on your, on, on your perception. Now, let me just see, number one, please, intelligence. What is it? This is, this are number one, intelligence. So you can just, you know, you brushed your hair and you can really see what's stuck here. You can see. Number two. Number two, next please. Yes, knowledge. Well managed knowledge with proven variable but caps within and hasn't been yet, hasn't yet, yet uh, uh, been transferred to others. But the second one, explicit. Next please, yes. Becoming public knowledge. Okay. Now, number three. This is it. Beware of politicians. They know how to do this. And you have to do the mapping of this. Wahai, you are the economist. Read this. And you have to learn. Open your Google and read who they are. The trend of their thoughts, their intention, whatever. Next. Group A, group B, and group C. Group D. Next. Group E, group F, group G. This is my contribution for you. To, hold, to, to read your map. Then you make the steppings. And there are many ways how to say no. With smile, or you say yes, without but, yes, and. I'm very busy, or whatever. I'm going to give lecture in Seoul, or in Pakalongan, wherever. There, there are mil millions of reasons how to say no. Thank you. Next, the fourth one. 
Yeah, the fourth one, I think it's just, you know, you can just read it out. You know, I'm not going to, to, uh, to, to put this in the, uh, the, the uh, this spoon to your mouth. You can do it yourself. Next, next. This is it, the motivation. The group A, group B, C, and D. <clears throat> next, please. Last but not least, environment. Why did I do this? Why did I do this? Look at this. Law and political environments, threat, challenge, and opportunity. This actually is one menu. <coughs> Nazi liver can be a threat for me if I'm, not, if I'm not feeling well. I can go to the bathroom more often. But it's a challenge for me to test my confidence. Number one, it's the opportunity for me to say no for Nazi liver. Oh yes, I'm going to try Nazi liver. Do I make myself clear? Since this is actually the tree that you really, really can really translate to become one. It depends on you. Look at this, the clash. Be careful with the word of harmony. The young one. Now, I'm talking to the young ones. Remember, the harmony always came, come from different elements. That's harmony. Let me see. If I say just everyone is do. Is this the song, only do? Not easy. It has to be with do and me. Sometimes do and re. And me, the major and the minor, and then with fa. Even do with re. Can you see the, the differences of the, the sound? And that's you and your spouses. If your husband or your, your wife Change the gear. Number one is, ooh, banyak ngomel. Number two is easier, hmm, smooth. Number three, smoother and calming. Number four, fourth gear, you know, we do it manually. And then, it's very nice. And then you go to the fifth one. But before you go to the fifth, you look, the, the, the road is going sloopy, it's going to be higher and higher. Do you use the fifth gear? Of course not. You stop and use the first one. But you have to be patient that your spouses, your partner, your friend, like your engine, oh, banyak ngomel. That's not the end. That's the beginning of the climbing. It depends on your perception. And then number two. After we go up and then stop. Why we stop? Because in front of your car, there is a hole or two holes. You have to stop. And it's a push, push, go on, go on. You, have, you can fall. All right? OK, so that's it. This is actually the map. Now we go to the, fresh, uh, to the uh, question and answers. Do you want me to play another song? Yes. I'm dealing now with the southern people. <laughs> <laughs> Music is magic. Listen, you the future economists, no matter your target, you have to finish your uh, your paper, but please use another side of your brain. Number one is music. If you don't have any music, just humming, mm -hmm, whatever, or just whistle. I cannot whistle, but, <laughs> but you can. And then number three, at my age, or maybe by, by, uh, by Professor Ibn Salim, if you don't want to get Alzheimer, or this, uh, it's not dyslexia, but you have to use both sides. You know what? You have to learn foreign languages. Only one, foreign language. You don't have to, to be fluent, fluent in speaking in your new uh, language or dialects, whatever you want to learn, the Toraja dialects or Java or Balinese, whatever. But you just learn. And number two, learn line dance. You know, like that's not pocho pocho. Everyone knows already. Even you with Opel Opel, you can do this. No, I don't want that. The new one. I'm going to send you. 
The moderator is going to be uh, is going to, re to, uh, to receive my video. It's a new one. It's all the elderly or the young one. It's a very nice. Bah, the dance number one. You have to calculate number two, number three. You are using calculating, but the music at the same time is creating your mood. So both like uh, both sides. That's very easy. Now let me just introduce myself because this is I conclude my lecture. I was born not only as an indigo, as an ADHD, attention deficit hyperactivity uh, disorder person, very destructive, and I am a dyscalculia person. If you give me figures or numbers, I go sweating. That's why I always make quarrel with my accountants. Right? But now, I learn the Russians. Now I can calculate. Even the Japanese, you know, mang means zero, ya, empat. We just only three thousand, three thousand, and then become million, and then whatever, then so on. But in Japanese, this mang is four, zero. And also in Russian. But actually, I speak French very fluently. For example, like 80. 80 is ka, katreveng. Katreveng means empat pulu, 40. Two times, katreveng disneuf, empat pulu kali dua tambah sembilan belas. Namanya sembilan belas. Jadi bisa menghitung in language. So this is the therapy actually. If you have friend or yourself or your sibling or whoever, like me, Harry Potter, right? <laughs> what kind of song would you like to read? The other one was the music, the song when I left Indonesia. It's a fun the soundtrack. A movie, a soundtrack of movie, Love is Many Spend the Thing. The leading star was uh, William Holden. I remember this song because that's how I left the country. But listen, ADHD people, or, they never get homesick. They can go with any cars. Can I go with you? Yes, be careful. Lots of kidnapping now. Four times. You know why? Because I started to sing. When I started to sing, you know, this song actually is long. Not that long as, as Indonesia Raya, but uh, this is three and a half minutes, but this is even shorter, but slightly short, uh, uh, shorter. And yet it's still long. But I want to make it concise because I want to hear your questions. When I decided to make it concise, to make it shorter, I decided which one that I should cut off. So when I was thinking, I lost. Like you, for example, you dance. Two plus two minus two divided two. You are not dancing, you are not calculating, mind you. <laughs> and you are not entertaining at all. <laughs> Go. I throw you a rotten tomato. But 
make me say, ah, la, 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 and then the, uh, the rest of the, the dancer going to the left, you go to the right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that is entertaining. How to present your excusable mistake. Thank you. Wassalam. I don't know what to say. <laughs> but, you know, I don't know about you, but a little bit more than an hour, I felt that I live in a different world. And uh, Hari has the capacity to do that. And, well, just to check whether you are, you know, living in a different world. Let's check by inviting questions from you or opinions or comments and so forth. So feel free to raise your hand. Be still, my soul. Finito. I live in a fright. Saya hidup dengan penuh ketakutan. Because I couldn't communicate. No one understand me. No one understood me. But I don't care. I have to understand people. That's why I study. Okay, thank you. Jadi, uh, the diplomats, actually, they have a sense of insecure. Do you still emerge your sorrows? Bangsa ini mudah sekali karena sangat merasa tidak pasti melihat ekonomi masa depan. Dan itu sudah awal dari keterpurukan. You create yourself. Sebetulnya enggak perlu begitu. Ya, saya pernah Pak, I was asked to give lecture in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Waktu mereka harus ke China, harus ke Inggris, harus ke Prancis, harus ke Timur Tengah. You know, setiap apa? Tiap ladang lain belalang ya. ya. Satu uh, peribahasa dari Tanah Minang, kata-kata bijak yang pas. Tapi, Anda harus meneruskan. Di mana kaki menginjak, di mana itu langit dijunjung. So you have to know. You have to get adjustment. If you don't want to get adjustment, then you are not economist. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, another question. Okay. Yeah, we have Julia. Oh, yes. Yeah, Professor Mary. <laughs> Um, thanks very much for a very enlightened lecture about yourself. Uh, the emphasis I did put on yourself as an individual. And yet, here in Indonesia, we are taught to be a member of a group. In a way, you were very uh, blessed, of course, being, uh, coming from the family that you do. How do you see somebody, you know, an Indonesian yes. child growing up in a society where standardization being the same as somebody else mm -hmm. is very highly uh, prized and also that's really the norm. That's how you should be. Yes. Yet you're preaching about individuality because that's where creativity comes from. Now the question is, can Indonesian children who grow up as a member of groups where norms are dictated, uh, this is how you should behave, what is the possibility to develop this creativity for yes. this in terms of left and right? Yes, of course. Of the brains. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Now, parents. <clears throat> there are so many schools, colleges, even courses, short courses for any profession, any skill, but not but parenting. Banyak sekolah kursus kilap untuk pekerjaan apa saja, tapi tidak ada sekolah untuk orang tua, bukan? So we have to learn from mystic. Listen to this. I remember. My parents said, you have to be able to differentiate which is which. Which one that you have to be an eagle? Kapan kamu menjadi Raja Wali yang tidak seperti penguin harus ikut semua ke sana, ikut ke sini. Tapi, when you have to be a part of your team work. Uh, team work is just like your palm. You cannot use your one finger. It has to be five or more. So you have to work with team. 
So you have to draw a single straight line to differentiate which is which. Yang mana harus jadi individu yang kukuh seperti Raja Wali. Di mana yang sebelah sini anda harus team up dan jangan lupa. Can I just carry on? That the teaming, that I mean the, the team up now, stay slim. Stay slim. In new order, order baru dulu, itu enlarging. Setiap ada saingan, wah dimusuhi habis-habisan. Wah kakak yang terjadi karena itu mengancam, threatening. Padahal kalau anda slim team, anda bisa team up sama your network. Even with your competitors, karena no one is the same. Dia nanti ambil yang mana, ambil yang mana, bisa team up, bisa kongsi. Hey, so that's it. Maybe this is already an answer to your question. So the children or us, even us, we still have to challenge ourselves. All right, I'm an eagle, but are you cannot being too individualistic. You have to team up. With your pembantu, he has to wake up a little bit late because he's tired. He's tired. Your driver been tired, or your super uh, the grab driver. You see, team up. But please, you are an eagle. Saya butuh saya sedikit menantang daya abstraksi anda setelah saya anda punya daya tangkap, daya pemahaman. Daya abstraksi apa yang saya sebutkan, lalu nanti anda daya penerapannya, kira-kira pas apa tidak, kita team up. Anda nggak bisa merasa betul sendiri, tanya, am I right? Harus tanya to your friend, am I right? Correct me if I'm wrong, gitu loh. So, Professor Melly, maybe this is already uh, an answer, yeah, maybe. Uh, is there any anything that you should... Uh, Maybe this is already an answer, or so maybe you are, if you are not that, if I don't, don't fulfill your, uh, uh, your question, maybe I can just carry on explaining. But this is this already mencakup semua. Yeah. Hari, I have a question yeah. which is similar. Yes, yes, of course. Up. Yeah. Um, Julia. Okay, thank you very much for your really um, in interesting and uh, um, fun and. Uh, a little bit sometimes a bit outrageous presentation, but at the same time very systematic. I think you're a very uh, clear personification, right brain and left working together. Um, my question is actually similar to um, Ibu, uh, Ibu um, Meli. Meli. Yeah. Meli. Sorry, my brain's not working. Um, I do know, know her. Um, my question is, um, in a very collectivist society like Indonesia, how would you apply that to an educational system? For example, a curriculum. Because this has to do with, um, with, with a whole um, social, political, e economic system and also to do with our history. Maybe my question is, is, this, is, is the reason for our collective mindset ngikut gitu? Is that history or culture or what? And how, what can you do to change it? Because I think you were citing the example of eagle. Eagles uh, fly alone, but there are also different, different animals, different birds or animals that travel in packs. You see, so um, you seem to be promoting individualism, but Actually, I know you said you had to also have to have teamwork. I myself come from a very conventional family, and I was just bikin pusing deh orang tua gitu loh. Yeah, okay. you know. So, uh, uh, so this is uh, maybe you can expand on. Sure. Uh, yeah. On of course, happily. Okay, listen to this. Uh, you have to differentiate again. Eagle is alone, but not lonely. Do you know who's eagle? Raden Ajengkartini. Dia nggak repot-repot untuk cari siapa-siapa. He, she was by herself, but he teams up. Dia tulis surat across the ocean. He got the fun dan seterusnya. He gained something. It's a petrol to push her luck to achieve her targets to, for the nation. But she's not 
she's not lonely, she's alone. So eagle is not lonely. He, semua burung ke Garuda itu punya pasangan, punya anak. Semua punya, enggak mungkin dia sendiri. Bahkan pastor pun yang tidak menikah punya ordo. Dan beda sama ordo, jadi satu sekolah, ordonya ada empat. Sama dengan biksu dan biksu ini dari uh, vihara, dari uh, Hindu uh, Buddhist temple, or Confucius. Jadi, tolong dibedakan antara alone, single fighter, sama tetap team up, tetap. Gitu. Nah, sekarang, kita tidak bisa mengambing hitam. We are not going to, to create the black ships. Kita tidak menciptakan kambing hitam. Kenapa? Ini zaman sekarang atau apa? No, it has, it has nothing to do with economic system. What? No. It's a very nature. It's our nature. When you feel alone, then you try to get, you know, to contact with another creation. Be still, my soul. Finito. I live in a fright. Saya hidup dengan penuh ketakutan. Because I couldn't communicate. No one understand me. No one understood me. But I don't care. I have to understand people. That's why I study. Okay, thank you. Jadi, uh, the diplomats, actually, they have a sense of insecure. Do you still emerge your sorrows? Bangsa ini mudah sekali karena sangat merasa tidak pasti melihat ekonomi masa depan. Dan itu sudah awal dari keterpurukan. You create yourself. Sebetulnya enggak perlu begitu. Ya, saya pernah Pak, I was asked to give lecture in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Waktu mereka harus ke China, harus ke Inggris, harus ke Prancis, harus ke Timur Tengah. You know, setiap apa? Tiap ladang lain belalang lihat, ya. Satu uh, peribahasa dari Tanah Minang, kata-kata bijak yang pas. Tapi, Anda harus meneruskan. Di mana kaki menginjak, di mana itu langit dijunjung. So you have to know. You have to get adjustment. If you don't want to get adjustment, then you are not economist. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, another question. Okay. Yeah, we have Julia. Oh, yes. Yeah, Professor Mary. <laughs> Um, thanks very much for a very enlightened lecture about yourself. Uh, the emphasis I did put on yourself as an individual. And yet, here in Indonesia, we are taught to be a member of a group. In a way, you were very uh, blessed, of course, being, uh, coming from the family that you do. How do you see somebody, you know, an Indonesian yes. child growing up in a society where standardization being the same as somebody else is very highly uh, prized and also that's really the norm. That's how you should be. Yes. Yet you're preaching about individuality because that's where creativity comes from. Now the question is, can Indonesian children who grow up as a member of groups where norms are dictated, uh, this is how you should behave, what is the possibility to develop this creativity for yes. this in terms of left and right? Yes, of course. Of the brains. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Now, parents. <clears throat> there are so many schools, colleges, even courses, short courses for any profession, any skill, but not but parenting. Banyak sekolah kursus kilap untuk pekerjaan apa saja, tapi tidak ada sekolah untuk orang tua, bukan? So we have to learn from mystic. Listen to this. I remember. My parents said, you have to be able to differentiate which is which. Which one that you have to be an eagle? Kapan kamu menjadi Raja Wali yang tidak seperti penguin harus ikut semua ke sana, ikut ke sini. Tapi, when you have to be a part of your team work. Uh, team work is just like your palm. 
You cannot use your one finger. It has to be five or more. So you have to work with team. So you have to draw a single straight line to differentiate which is which. Yang mana harus jadi individu yang kukuh, seperti Raja Wali, di mana yang sebelah sini Anda harus team up, dan jangan lupa, can I just carry on? That the teaming, I mean the, the team up now, stay slim. Stay slim. In new order, order baru dulu, itu enlarging. Setiap ada saingan, wah, dimusuhi habis-habisan. Wah, KKN terjadi karena itu mengancam, threatening. Padahal, kalau Anda slim team, Anda bisa team up sama your network, even with your competitors. Karena no one is the same. Dia nanti ambil yang mana, ambil yang mana, bisa team up. Bisa kongsi. Hey. So that's it. Maybe this is already an answer to your question. So the children or us, even us, we still have to challenge ourselves. All right, I'm an eagle. But uh, you cannot be too individualistic. You have to team up with your pembantu. He has to wake up a little bit late because he's tired. He's tired. Your driver been tired. Or your super, uh, the grab driver. You see, team up. But please, you are an eagle. Saya butuh, saya sedikit menantang daya abstraksi Anda. Setelah saya, Anda punya daya tangkap, daya pemahaman, daya abstraksi apa yang saya sebutkan. Lalu nanti Anda daya penerapannya. Kira-kira pas apa tidak, kita team up. Anda nggak bisa merasa betul sendiri. Tanya, am I right? Harus tanya to your friend. Am I right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Iki dulu. So, Professor Melly, maybe this is already uh, an answer, yeah, baby. Uh, is there any anything that you should? Uh, maybe this is already an answer. So maybe you are, if you are not that, if uh, it don't don't fulfill your. Uh, uh, your question, maybe I can just carry on explaining, but this is this already mencakup semua. Yeah, Hari, be careful. I have a question yeah. which is similar. Yes, yes, of course. Up. Yeah, um, Julia. Okay, thank you very much for your really um, in interesting and uh, um, fun and uh, a little bit sometimes a bit outrageous presentation, but at the same time very systematic. I think you're very uh, clear personification, right brain and left working together. Um, my question is actually similar to um, Ibu, Me, uh, Ibu um, Meli. Yeah. Sorry, my brain's not working. Um, I do know, know her. Um, my question is, um, in a very collectivist society like Indonesia, how would you apply that to an educational system, for example, a curriculum, because this has to do with um, with, with a whole um, po social, political, e economic system, and also to do with our history. Maybe my question is: Is this is is the reason for our collective mindset? Ngikut gitu. Itu is that history or culture, or what? And how? What can you do to change it? Because I think. You were citing the example of eagle. Eagles uh, fly alone, but there are also different different animals, different birds or animals that travel in packs. You see, so um, you seem to be promoting individualism, but actually, I know you said you had to also have to have teamwork. I myself come from a very conventional family, and I was just. You can pushing the orang tua gitu loh. Yeah. Okay. You know. So, uh, uh, so this is uh, maybe you can expand on. Sure. The, uh, yeah. On of course. Happily. Okay. Listen to this. Uh, you have to differentiate again. Eagle is alone, but not lonely. Do you know who's eagle? Raden Ajeng Kartini. Dia nggak repot-repot untuk cari siapa-siapa. He, she was by herself, but he teams up. Ya tulis surat across the ocean, he got the fun, dan seterusnya, he gained something. It's a petrol, 
to push her luck to achieve her targets to, for the nation. But she's not, she's not lonely, she's alone. So eagle is not lonely. He, semua burung ke, ke Garuda itu punya pasangan, punya anak. Semua punya, gak mungkin dia sendiri. Bahkan pastor pun yang tidak menikah punya ordo. Dan beda sama ordo, jadi satu sekolah, ordonya ada empat. Sama dengan biksu dan biksu ini dari uh, vihara, dari uh, Hindu uh, Buddhist temple atau Confucius. Jadi, tolong dibedakan antara alone, single fighter, sama tetap team up, tetap. Gitu. Nah, sekarang kita tidak bisa mengambing hitam. We are not going to, to create the black ships. Kita tidak menciptakan kambing hitam. Kenapa? Ini zaman sekarang atau apa? No, it has, it has nothing to do with economic system. What? No. It's a very nature. It's our nature. When you feel alone, then you try to get, you know, to contact with another creation. Either this is the plants in your gardens, planting, or maybe you just communicate with your cats, with your pets, with your dogs. You always communicate. And then you pray the team, a team up with them throw things and they will catch or you just spray with a ribbon and then your cats get best you know moving about whatever so this is actually team up so don't worry your children won't be too individualistic uh, individualistic no i always create big crowd last the recent the hotel ayana next to to my building i mean the da vinci there is a uh, Ayana P Hotel. He just newly opened. And he said, but Harry, I would like you to invite, you know, we have only 95 seats. And the old staff, I mean, the, 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 uh, the longer you know, uh, staff, they said, if you ask but Harry Dasono to invite people, he will invite people. And you know what, how many? 318. So better we, we ask our chef, to prepare more food because he's going to invite people. Because if I, if I invite people with, a, with my uh, WhatsApp, please come with your beloved one, we are children and friends. You see, your beloved one, that means your wife, your children or friends. So how many of you, at least three or four, bingo. I invited 95 and who came? 318. So even Harry Dasono, who always play a lot, play solis, but I need an orchestra to come up. Team, the band, whatever. So Julia, is this right? Yes. Oh yes, yes. Is this the threatening and uh, challenge? Maybe the last. Uh, I would like just to say uh, I would like to to put the, a CD of how I started to create, until to create the piano, to create the, the, the mobile, the cell phone, the virtue, the most expensive 800 million rupees they sell, but I just sold the, the brand. And a lot more. Yes. Last question, maybe, Paiwan? Yeah, this, this is last question. Yes. Uh. I call you Mas Hari no. because you got mad at me, right? No. Yes. So, Ngkong, I, yes. you you are just amazing. Oh, just call yes. me Harry. Harry oh, ha Potter. No, no, Ngkong, I. <laughs> <laughs> You're just amazing. So I'm not gonna give you, you know, compliments anymore because you know everybody here knows you're amazing. Um, I'm running actually together with my colleagues here a platform, an online platform that that is uh, uh, meant to enrich peoples people to democratize education to bring skills so in this you know i keep thinking when you were presenting um how is creative i mean can creativity be trained that's one and number two how can we um can we actually create a culture of uh, creativity so we are dying really to have you in our platform which is actually an online platform gratis uh, indonesiax.co.id you can answer it now or you can answer it later when we talk but uh, or when you are willing to give a lecture in our platform yes. so All two right. questions yes can create uh, uh, can create creativity be teach or mm -hmm. train and number two can we um, create a culture 
uh, yeah. friendly for creativity. All Thank right. you. Yes, two questions with one answer. Just look at the Korean. You know the K-pop? They're very musical. If you go to the, if I want, Professor Yvon Tejas is to go to the Luke of public toilets in the park. The music is not like in Japanese with always Japanese music, in Beijing, Chinese music, in France with French music, in English it's the Beatles, the Rollins, and whatever. Not in Korea. In Korea, what kind of music? Puccini, Verdi, Gustav Mahler, because he stayed, the Korean government wants to say, we belong to the world. We are different than the North one. So very big difference, very musical, and yet, listen, the creativity that owns by the designer, the engineer of the gadget, Samsung, they got stressed. They have to create. One designer should present at least seven prototype of design, and the management will choose. And he has to face lots of competitors in the same company. So this is very stressful kind of life. They're economists, they're product designers, they do the mathematics, they do the gadget, high-end technology, the sophistication technology, and yet they forgot to activate another set of the brain. And finally, they cannot stand it, finito. They give up. In Indonesia, not give up Bunudiri, but give up Mati. But Mati, professionally, intellectually, socially, and finally, economically. Jadi, when you said, I give up, that means doesn't have to you, you drink by gone and gone. No. You're still alive, but you're dead. You're a zombie because you don't create human relationship. Where is the silaturahim? No. You just play with your own group. How poor. The blessing is not only from your friend, from your enemy. God has so many ways how to bless you. It doesn't have to be matched with your mood. Thank you. Actually. Well, thank you. There's so many things that he already said, and many of them, I, I believe many of them you can buy what he said there. But one thing that is very, very significant, at least to me, is that Creativity is not a function of your age. So I keep telling in my class, actually, you, the young generation, is the future leader. But today, Hari reminds us that, no, actually, even people who are 90 plus years old can be creative and should be creative. So I think that is one of the most powerful messages and at least something that I can benefit from what he's saying today. And Hari, thank you so much for your time and for your kind willingness to share with us your opinion. And okay, I stand to be corrected because you don't want me to say that you are multi-talented, but behind you, I will still, still say that you are multi-talented. <laughs> but in front of you, I know you don't want to be called as multi-talented. And uh, before we close this session, uh, the Dean of the Faculty of Economics and Business University of Indonesia, Ari Kuncharo, is going to present something to you. Ari? Uh, 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 allow me, allow me to, uh, to, uh, to give, uh, to have uh, just one second. Number one, I'm really, really admired and amazed by the role of Professor Riwan because I knew this person since small. <laughs> and really, because, because a lot of people like him, they don't give a damn what other people like me. And he understands, and he gave me encouragement. And yet, actually, he, what he said about talent is right, but I just want to protect you. If your children, if you yourself don't have talents, do not give up, because you have four steps that can compete the talented people. Strong will, hardworking, consistency, and sustainability. That is another uh, uh, word of talents. Thank you. But remember, Harry, you yes. said yourself there are 600 people like uh, named Iwan. So I think he was talking about something, someone else, not talking about me. Okay, Harry, please. Uh, 
Baik, terima kasih banyak. Baik, terima kasih banyak kepada Sir Harry Darsono, PhD, dan Profesor Iwan Jaya Aziz. Untuk acara selanjutnya adalah penyerahan handbook dan sertifikat uh, ucapan terima kasih dari Fakultas Ekonomi dan Bisnis Universitas Indonesia. Kami mohon kepada Bapak Hari Darsono untuk bisa berdiri di depan. Selanjutnya kami selanjutnya kami mohon juga kepada Dekan Fakultas Ilmu Budaya Universitas Indonesia untuk bisa maju ke depan. Kami mohon untuk berfoto bersama terlebih dahulu, Bapak-Bapak. <SILENCIO> untuk selanjutnya adalah penyerahan sertifikat. <SILENCIO> Kami mohon untuk tetap berada di tempat Bapak-Bapak sekalian. Selanjutnya penyerahan sertifikat dari Dekan Kedua Fakultas kepada Bapak Hari Darsono. Kalau panita kembang mawar, kalau pria kembang api. <laughs> kalau anak-anak kembang gula, wis mandek. Diharapkan juga untuk bisa berfoto bersama kepada Profesor Emil Salim, Profesor Meiling, Ibu Hera, Ibu Vita, dan Mrs. Enwood. Enwood. Kepada Bapak Maneke juga kami harapkan untuk bisa ikut berfoto bersama Bapak. Kepada Profesor Ari Kucoro, kami persilakan Bapak untuk menyampaikan sepatah dua patah kata. Hari -hari. Ada yang mau disampaikan? Uh, terima kasih kepada <laughs> Pak Hari Darsono dan Prof Iwan. Jadi acara ini uh, timbul dari idenya Prof Iwan. Ya. Yang menarik itu adalah pada waktu itu ada kata-kata piano ya kalau di fakultas ekonomi dan bisnis nggak ada piano yang ada laptop nah, karena kita pakai otak eh, eh, yang sebelah aja ya kalau ada piano bagaimana nah, lalu saya teringat saya pernah kesini di sini ada piano tetapi harus ada budaya jadi event yang ada budayanya nah saya teringat siapa ya lalu teman saya Pak Adri lah itu kan dekan fakultas ilmu budaya jadilah kita mengadakan joint event yang ternyata hari ini terbukti bahwa semangat kita adalah multidisiplin dan saya merasa sangat bahagia bahwa acara ini bisa berjalan sukses terima kasih terima kasih banyak uh, sebentar tadi saya saya uh, I was uh, requested by uh, Professor Iwan that the last one I have to play, but I'm not going to be alone. I would like to, to invite you to raise, raise up. 
tolong diproyeksi bukan ini. <laughs> Pelan tapi konangan judesnya. I have a dream, senyum tapi judes. I have a dream. <laughs> now, no, I have a dream. The song. I would like you to stand up now, please. Wait a minute. <laughs> This is only short, but the last one, the last one is very powerful. Remember, Jamu, you are what you say. I I cross the stream. I have a dream. Walaupun saya apa menghadapi uh, melawan arus, tidak ada yang mengerti. I still have asa, yaitu apa harapan, a dream. Yeah, sing it twice. Only I'll cross the stream. I have a dream. The rest only once. Let me go first. Duduk, saya ingin mengajak Profesor Iwan di, 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 di atas. Tolong maju ke tampil. <laughs> Now, listen to me. Before we leave this beautiful building that hasn't been officiated by the director, I would like you to raise your uh, uh, your hand like this, and you talk to yourself. I will, I shall, I can. But excuse me, I can sounds very ria. Other people will say you can, so I can, I will, I shall, you can, and by one will point it at me, you can, because we are team up, all right? So close your eyes, don't look at me. I'm too I'm too good to be seen. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. I will, I shall, you can, you can. One more, but not like this, like this. I will. Masuk I situ itu di atas mah koruptor melulu. I will. I shall. You can. One, two, three. I will. I shall. You can. Yeah. Baik, terima kasih banyak. Berikan aplaus sekali lagi untuk Serhari Darsono. Dengan selesainya public lecture dan bernyanyi bersama tadi, maka berakhir pula lah acara pada siang hari ini. Terima kasih banyak kepada para peserta dan tamu undangan yang telah bersedia hadir. Kami ucapkan wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat siang.